There are so many businesses that fail, that try to sell products or services that people, not enough people are buying. And then there are few that succeed. So what is the difference? Uh, in this video, I'm just going to rattle off some of the factors that make businesses succeed versus the ones that, that fail. And in the notes of this video, I will list a lot more than I'm able to share here um, on this video. Okay, so first thing is, it might seem counterintuitive, but are people even asking you to start the business or to sell that product or service? A lot of us, we get into business because we are so passionate about a particular modality or framework or idea or we had the particular problem and we solved it. And so we assume that, oh, if I'm excited about it, that must mean there's so many people uh, you know, that are excited. But that is the, one of the greatest biases of being a human being, right? While we are in this life, inside our skulls or in this body, we think that our thoughts are somehow shared by everybody else. But in fact, as you probably well know, even in politics and religion and whatnot, people believe very different things than you. Completely different worldview. And so the first factor is, I'll just simplify to say, the problem that you want to solve with your product or service, are you sure other people are looking for a solution to that problem? Which means you need to be talking to enough people, not just random people, but look for the people that might buy your service or product. Talk with them about how they describe the problem. Talk, ask them the, about, you know, talk about the problems that they're having in their life or, or relationships or health or business or whatever you, it is you help people with. See how they describe the problem that they have and then you design the product or service to solve that problem, okay? So that's, that's number one is are, are people really asking for it? Number two is as you put the product or service together, does it have the features that people want? And again, this is why the conversations with the right people are so helpful and no, don't just talk with you know two or three people try to talk to five ten twenty twenty five people if you can uh, who are I, hopefully the right people so secondly is the, does the product or service have the features that they want so in the conversations you have with people see if uh, they can describe to you how they've tried to solve the problem that your product or service wants to solve how have they tried to solve it have they bought something else before have they hired someone else before have they read a book have they gone to an event and what hasn't been satisfactory for them about the way that they have tried solving the problem in the past? And how can you put in those gaps, uh, uh, fill those gaps that they have? Like, oh, that, that event di didn't sit well with me because, or that product didn't well, work as well for me because, and see if you can solve those problems in your, in your product or, or service. So that's the second is, does it have the features that are really filling the gaps in the market? Third is, is your marketing talk talking about the benefits that your your audience your ideal customer cares about okay um, a lot of times in our marketing we are so excited about these the, the features and the things we put into our product service that that's we talk about the features because we took so much time to develop them to think it out to say well whether it's a it's you know even if it's an online course oh we got this module that module okay what about the benefits what does it do for the client, the customer, the student, after they have used your product or service. What, are, what should they be able to do or how would their life change as a result of using your service or product, okay? Um, so, and then number four is, is a product or service priced in a way that makes the ideal customer say, wow, that is a great deal. This is, again, takes the conversations you have with others to discover what they've tried buying or thought about buying what prices they are, um, what features they have, etc. But you might also want to just do some Google searches and look at the, the overall market for your product or service. What price are other people charging and how does yours compare you know, with, with, with theirs? And then the next uh, factor would be, are the right people hearing about it? Just because you, you set up a website or you uh, published a Facebook page doesn't mean that enough of the right people are hearing about your product or service to allow you to have a business that works. So make sure 
that enough of the right people are hearing about it. So this, this can be done either through advertising, like Facebook ads are great right now, to um, connecting with other people who have the right audience, who aren't competitors to you, but would probably love to know about your product or service, um, to even doing some one-on-one -on -one outreach. You know, maybe you, you've got some of your own friends, family, and colleagues, um, acquaintances, who are perfect ideal customers or clients for your product or service. So these are just a few of the factors that will give your product or service launch or your business the best chance of success. And as I mentioned in this note, in the notes of this video, I'll include more details and more information about all these different things.